Hey guys, in this video, I will share with you the top color grading secrets in Photoshop. It's easier, faster, and you get better color grading results on your images. With no further ado, let's get started. The first is the color profile. Take note of your color profile because it's the most determining factor in the color grading process. So we are going to use the camera matching, and in the camera matching, we are going to select landscape. You can see by just selecting the landscape, take a look at the before and the after. Anytime you take outdoor images and you want these vibrant colors, use the camera landscape color profile. And you can see this amazing result you are already getting. The next is the auto button. The edit, you see the auto button, just click on it like this and you get this result. This is Adobe automatically fixing the basic adjustment for you. So it doesn't limit you from going further to make adjustments. So you can just increase the blacks like this. Uh, you reduce the shadows a little bit and then maybe add some exposure. You are going to tailor fit it. You are going to make your own adjustment. But just by clicking on the auto button, you get a better starting point like this. And this is already amazing. You can see that it also makes adjustment to your vibrance and saturation. You can also go further to adjust it. But the starting point is looking amazing. So it reduces your chances of doing mistake, of making mistake, and it gives you more insight into how much color you can get from that image. So you can take a look at the before and you can see the after. This is actually an amazing starting point. If you're already loving this, please smash the like button and also leave a fire emoji in the comments. From here, we go into Photoshop. So if you click on open, we go from camera raw into the main Photoshop interface. In Photoshop, the first thing we do is to crop. Since we are uploading this image to Instagram, we are going to use the four by five aspect ratio. So you click on okay like this to get this cropping ratio. Next thing we do is zoom onto the face. And if there's any pimples on the face, we use the spot healing brush to remove those pimples as easy as this. So once we are done with removing of the pimples, we go to apply frequency separation. For this image, we are going to use the auto fix FX. It's an automatic frequency separation action that I use. So if you click on the auto fix FX, I click on the play button, are going to automatically have this frequency separation result on your image. So if you zoom in and you toggle before and after this result you are going to get, just zoom in. Here was the before and here is the after. The result is looking amazing. With just one click, you can auto fix your skin issues before and after. You can see the result is very, very natural while retaining the skin texture, it goes in to smooth the color to give a more pleasing look. You are not limited to applying this auto fix FX action just once. You can apply it more than once. If you flatten your image and click on auto fix FX action again, you are going to still apply this effect like this. But this time you can see that it has been overdone, which is not desirable. So you can add a layer max Ctrl I to invert the layer marks so that to remove the effect of the layer. Take your brush, make sure your foreground is white, increase your flow to a reasonable amount, and paint over areas you want to be more smoothing, like this. So you can take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before, and here is the amazing after. You can check the link in the description to get this auto fix FS action. It works like magic. I, I wish you try it out. So you can get it with just one dollar. Check the link in the description to get it right now. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to pop our image by applying shine to some areas and darkening other areas. The method I'm going to use, I'm very sure you've not seen it before. So come to layer new layer click on layer now change the mode to overlay fill with overlay neutral color click on ok 
duplicate this layer in the top one shine and the button you name it deep so the shine one the shine you come to channel click right here on the selection button to get this selection come back to the layers take your brush make sure the foreground is white reduce the flow to 10 now you paint over the areas that have been selected like this the arm areas just the areas that have been selected make sure you paint only on the skin so that we can pop the skin and make it shine better so now we are going to deselect and see the before see the after we we'll do the same thing to the deep we we'll do the opposite to the deep make sure the deep layer comes to channels click on the selection button now come to select and inverse your selection. Now take your brush, make sure the foreground is black this time. And now paint over the areas that have been selected like this. You see, I'm just doing this very quickly and easily. You can do it also and you see the amazing result we get. Once you've done painting on the skin, you deselect and you see the before and the after. So we are going to group this together by selecting the boot hold control and click on another layer to select the layer now i'm going to group this together if i click you see group from layers you give it a name pop something like this and i click on ok let's zoom in to take a look at the before and the after here was the before and here is the after amazing here was the before and here is the after like the video right now if, if you are learning something new already here was the before and here is the after. Don't forget you can adjust opacity. So in the deep, you adjust the opacity like this. And then we can also adjust the opacity of the group by taking it down a little bit like this. So here was the before and here is the after. It's a very easy way to add shine and add depth to your skin and make it look more realistic and pleasing to the eye. So before, after. Look at the arms. Before, after. So make sure you like the video right now and leave a fire emoji in the comments. The next thing we are going to do after adjusting the opacity, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to come down here to adjustment layer, create a channel mixer. Now go to the greens and in the green channel of the output channel green, we are going to reduce it from 100 to 0 and the blue we are going to increase it to 100 just like this. So. After doing that, we are going to come to Hue and Saturation and take the hand picker to and select the skin. Move the skin all the way to plus 20 and desaturate it by minus 10. Now we are going to reduce the opacity of this and also reduce the opacity of this. We are going to now go on to group them together by selecting the boot, dragging them to the group icon down here and then we can reduce the opacity all the way to 30. So take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before and here is the after. You can see the color grading effect is it's adding to our image. It's beautiful, right? Here was the before and here is the after. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to create a stamp visible layer by clicking on Control Shift Alternate E. We are going to name this Camera Row. Now we are going to go to Filter Camera Row. In the camera row this time, we are going to come down here to the texture. We are going to add some textures, add a little bit of clarity and the haze. I'm going to also add a little bit of contrast. And now we are going to come to details. Zoom into the face because we are going to sharpen it this time. We are going to add a little bit of sharpening and increase the radius to make the effect look more obvious and reduce the details. So you can see the before and the after. Here was the before and here is the after. So and I'm going to click on OK to come back into Photoshop. From this point, we are going to bring focus to the model. To do that, we are going to take a elliptical marking tool, create a selection over the face of the model like this. And now we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. And we are going to take down the curve 
from the mid tone, from the midpoint here, we are going to take down the curve. And in the blacks here, we are going to take up the curve. Now you come to the layer, make sure you are clicking on the layer max, press on Ctrl I to invert the layer max. And now the fader value, we are going to increase the fader value. See, the hard edge is gone completely. Now we are going to adjust the opacity. Now, if you click before and after, you can see that the focus is now on the model. Well, now this has darkened the skin, which is not desirable. So we are going to take our brush to make sure the foreground is black and paint on the skin to remove the darkening effect from the skin. We want the whole skin to be shining. So we are going to remove the darkening effect from the skin, just like this. So that will just darken every other area of the image without darkening the skin so that the model is going to pop out of the image. So you can see the before and the after. From this point, we can now go to add lots. So you come and create a color lookup. Go to your lots folder. And you can now add your lots. So for this, this is a light skin model. So we are going to add a light skin lot. And just like this, you get this effect that you can reduce the opacity. If this lot is not the one you desire, you can try other lots that you have in your lots folder till you get the one that you really want. So we are testing them out like this. I really like this one. I'm going to reduce the opacity. There's a link in the description you can use to get my free lot. I have several free lots on my website. Link is in the description. So you see the before applying the lot. I see after applying the lot. The result is amazing. And don't forget how we got this flawless looking skin. We use the auto fix FS action. There's a link in the description to get it right now. So check the link in the description to get the auto fix FS action. So other very simple things we can do is like the hair. You can change the color of the hair. It's very, very simple. Just take your lasso tool, make a rough selection over the hair area like this. And now you come to your adjustment layer and create a huge saturation adjustment layer. Click on the hair to select the hair. And when you move the slider, you can easily change the hair color to the one you want. So you zoom in, you can see it has a hard edge. So you fade out like this. And you can also use your brush to paint in or paint out any area that is not well selected. So it's as easy as. So try this out on your image. Leave your feedback in the comment section. I'm really happy to be part of your creative journey. Subscribe for more amazing retouching and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.